finances, investing, estate and retirement planning? Well, I went to school so you don't have to. Welcome to Finances and High Yield Savings Accounts. Finances and, in conjunction with my company, Capital Coaching, helps people achieve their financial goals through personal, tailored, and attentive financial coaching services. We create successful financial plans by examining your spending and saving habits and then guiding and educating you to your own personal success. Coaching services include the evaluation of your spending plan or budget, building your savings, financing your retirement, examining your insurance needs, and planning for your individual goals. Please contact me at capitalcoaching.net to make an appointment for a free consultation. You know that you should have money in your savings, but savings accounts these days offer very little interest for holding your money. The average in the United States is six hundredths of a percent on the APY, and that's very close to zero. On $1,000, you would make 60 cents on that money after one year. There is an option that is safe and insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Company, or FDIC, up to $250,000, called a high-yield savings account. It offers a higher yield, for example, four-tenths of a percent APY, which on that same $1,000 will give you $4 after a year. If you're thinking $4 doesn't sound like a lot, compare it with the 60 cents that you might get in your traditional savings account. APY stands for the annual percentage yield or the interest that you've earned after a year. So an institution that offers a higher yield will pay you more at the end of the year. So look for places that don't charge you a service fee at all. And if you can't find one that you qualify for, then choose the highest yield with the lowest fee as possible. Because the money is insured, you don't have to only consider large big name banks. Smaller ones and even online only options have great rates and some small deposit minimums. The deposit minimums can be as low as $0, which means that you can open and start your account with any balance that you'd like. Credit unions, online banks, and some apps let you add money and pay bills from that account if needed. While you're going to get a better rate and your money will grow than that traditional savings account. You apply for these accounts just like opening a checking account. You'll need your social security number, your contact information, and your driver's license or passport as an ID. You'll also need to deposit right away through cash, check, or a wire transfer. Unlike a traditional savings account, though, you could be turned away based on your history of banking. So if you bounce your checks, it's quite possible that they won't offer you this particular savings vehicle. There are many options, and NerdWallet has actually rated some of these, and their five top options, which they gave four and a half stars, are Alliant, Ally, Capital One, Chime, and Synchrony. And in general, they offer about five-tenths of a percent, and their minimums are anywhere from zero to five dollars to start this account. Being able to transfer electronically from your checking account to one of these high-yield accounts is rather easy. You can move any budgeted amount of money and even unexpected funds simply into this account, and you can be making around 20% more than your simple savings account does. That's really hard to pass up on if you're trying to make some money by doing nothing. It does mean that you'll have a checking account at one institution and a savings account at the other, but that's really a pretty insignificant reason not to use the high yield account. Just like a traditional savings account, you'll be limited to six withdrawals per month, and you can consider this account for your larger purchases that you'd like to make in the next five years, a house, a car, a big trip, college. All these examples are great because these are purchases that you'd want to guarantee that your money will be there in the next five years versus trying to put it into investing where, you know, that can rise and fall unexpectedly. The interest is compounded, which means that after you earn your interest for the first year, let's say you had $10,000 at four tenths of a percent, you'd earn $40. The next year, they'll provide interest on your $10,040 at four tenths of a percent, and you'd earn now $40.16. The longer you leave it there, the more money you make because the interest is compounded on the interest from last year as well as your balance. And of course, as you continue to add to it, your interest will grow as well. According to Investopedia, you're going to want to compare the following options when you're considering your high yield savings account. 
First, consider the interest rate you're going to make. Is the interest rate they're offering their rate for the year or is it an introductory rate? Make sure that you know how much you're going to be earning over the next year. Just read carefully. Think about how much you're going to have to have for your initial deposit. Is that amount of money they're going to ask for a comfortable amount for you? Again, it could be thousands of dollars or it could be very little, close to zero dollars. So just make sure you understand how much money you're going to need to open that account. They might also require you to keep a minimum balance throughout the years in it. So for example, with the $10,000, they might require a $5,000 minimum. So you can never go below the $5,000 to earn the better interest rates. Again, you're just going to want to make sure that you understand what their requirements are. That's not always true, but it's it's a possibility. Again, I mentioned fees earlier. Do they actually charge you any fees for it? You want to make sure that if there are fees associated with the minimum balance that you don't go below that minimum so that you are earning money and not having to pay anything on it. How easy is it going to be to access your money? Do they provide you ATM card to be able to use? Or do you have to go to the bank if it is a brick and mortar kind of place? Just make sure again that you understand what it is. Deposits. Are you going to be able to put checks into this account or is it a smartphone app or are you going to be able to use the ATM? Look at how they're compounding the money, the interest. Does it compound daily, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, which is twice a year or annually? Because the more frequent it compounds, the higher yield you'll actually get. So make sure when you're comparing those APYs that you're looking at how often they're compounding it as well. So compounding annually versus compounding monthly, you're going to get a higher yield on the monthly. Again, as you're making your table to decide which savings account is best for you, just make sure you're taking that into account. So instead of traditional savings account, if you find a high yield account that gives you what you need for a return, you're going to make a little bit more money on the money that you have in the bank that's doing nothing for you right now. And that sounds like a great way to make money. Thanks for listening to Finances and High Yield Savings Accounts. We know you chose to listen and we're grateful. If you enjoyed this episode, please follow or subscribe for free in your podcast provider. Share your favorite episode with a friend as well. Finally, consider leaving a review because it brings financial education to others and it helps people find us more easily. Please let us know what questions you'd like answered or what topics you'd like covered by going to the website at financesand.net and leaving a message. You can also contact Capital Coaching for your personal financial needs at capitalcoaching.net. Finances and does not provide tax or legal advice and nothing in this podcast is to be construed as such. Always consult a tax, accounting, or legal professional for advice on your specific situation. Remember, I went to school so you don't have to. Thanks for listening.